Since you guys really liked my last video, I thought we should do another part because, I mean, why not? Like, it's just going to be kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, while these are, you know, there are more stick pots that we're looking at that are rare, I think these ones are going to be a bit more rare. So much happened after this video that, like, the list is almost entirely incorrect in some ways. But, uh, yeah, I thought we should take a look at some of them. I would also like to say that there are a bunch of other rarer colors, too, of different variants, such as dogs, pterodactyls, rabbits, all that stuff. So in the future, I would love to make a video on a bunch of rare stick pads and also rare click bots and all those different kinds of things. But for this video, we're just going to stick to more rare stick bots. Uh, so let's get into that. I'm a bit shocked I didn't mention these guys in my last video. These are the goodie bag silver stick bots, and uh, they're interesting to say the least. As the name implies, these guys, along with this guy, who you're probably more familiar with, were given away in goodie bags to content creators and such. So, uh, yeah. Now, see, here's the thing. This guy, the gold one, has been released. This has not. So... This gold one was originally, you know, just given away promotionally and probably internally in the company, but it didn't, um, it didn't really make it anywhere else. It was never publicly released. That is until 2021, maybe, when it was available on Amazon in a six-pack. However, on the U.S. site, this has been since taken down. With this new Amazon six-pack version, it may have been a different plastic, making it a completely different figure, but that's debatable. Going back to the silver version, this guy wasn't released. So, as this photo from KFC perfectly shows, maybe this was the reason why they weren't released. If we look at them, we can see all of these seam lines. This plastic, as someone who's spoken from experience with this figure, this plastic is not great. The strings are more flimsy, and the plastic is just super... It's like... It's very, it feels very cheap. It feels more like a knockoff than a knockoff does. So there's a very good chance that these were probably made just for the goodie bags and were just put on the factory line or something very quickly just for, you know, funsies, basically. <laughs> While the exact number of these guys is unknown, I would have to guess probably less. It's like probably the low hundreds, maybe. Not a lot. It would definitely... It's lower than a retail number, definitely, but enough that they could put in a bunch of goodie bags, and I'm sure that they also gave it out to employees, so I'm going to guess the low hundreds. Let's say 400, maybe, of these guys were made. In my last video, I said that the white translucent stick bot was the rarest stick bot of all time. This was mainly due to, at the time, there being no photos and barely any record of it. However, as some of you may know, quite literally a week later, the dark side of YouTube and Showa found these photos. Now, I'm planning to make a whole video on this guy because his story is just incredible, but there was an eBay listing found with this guy, which was the main source of this photo that I just showed you, and it said that only three were made. Now, normally when you make a prototype of any kind, it's really rare to have only three made. It's usually a hundred or so. This is usually if the factory that's making the figures is, you know, a whole country away or countries away or across the globe. But this guy selling them was in Connecticut. And most likely these figures were, you know, given away at the factory or taken out of the factory. So there was probably a factory in Connecticut that, you know, produced them. And it kind of makes more sense that, you know, there would only be three made if it's the same country, even if it's only a couple states away. So potentially because more local, they could produce less. So, yeah, there were probably three of these guys made, but this is not the rarest figure we will see on the list. So, yes, I was wrong about this being the rarest figure. We will lo start looking at figures that there were pretty much only one ever made. But before we get to that, I just really wanted to, you know, talk about the White Treasures of Stickbot because it's interesting and I thought that you guys should know because, I mean, I... I'm sure a lot of you guys actually didn't know that there were photos of the white trenches of the stickbot now. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's get back to uh, promotional stuff, though. And also the number three. Similar to the white trenches, and only three may have ever been made. So, remember when stickbot toured a lot of stores? 
Yeah, I'm sure most of you don't, but I love this costume, and honestly, this costume, there's actually two variants, supposedly, which we'll get into now, but, so maybe, you know, these could be on their own little list. <laughs> So this stickball was given to stores in the UK mainly, or maybe only in the UK, who knows. Uh, so basically, it's the exact same as a normal stickball, except it has a hashtag stickball printed on the chest. Potentially the back too, but this is unknown because this is pretty much the only photo of it and it's flipped upside down. So it's flipped around. Again. Yeah, okay. Supposedly two other colors of this figure were made with the, you know, hashtag stickball on it, one being a solid blue and one being a solid red. However, these are, there's no photos of them, so, yeah. Now, you might be wondering, why did I mention the stickball costumes before? Well, like I said, there are two variants. Let's get into them. First off, we have the standard stickball. This is probably what most of you are familiar with. This is a photo of him in London, or somewhere in the UK, I don't know. Um, but here's the thing. I'm 90% sure that like this guy also toured even if it was like one store he definitely toured somewhere in the u.s so for now i'm gonna call this guy the u.s version and the second one I'm saying is subscribe to the stickpot central youtube channel yeah okay uh this guy is dancing um but you can yeah it's just that one is text and one doesn't they're probably the same costume but maybe i'm going insane so with that being said both of these guys toured the uk however i think that this one is the one that actually uh, gave away these display stick bots. I'm assuming that, you know, when all of the display stick bots were given out, these guys also came to the stores and celebrated and stuff. However, the one without text is from a bunch of articles from 2018, while the one with text has a bunch of stuff from 2019. This is my assumption. I don't know why I added this to the video. I just felt it was necessary. Well, I don't know the exact origin of these guys, these are prototypes, however, they were thought to be fakes for years. It was only until recently when they were found out to actually be real, legitimate prototypes. So, yeah, these are four uh, prototypes. While it is unknown how many exist, like with the white translucent stick bot, it is very likely that only these four exist, of each color. So, yeah, they're very cool, they're like, you know, just the normal, most of them are just the normal uh, stick bot solid stick bot, but with white suction cups, and I really like it, I think it looks really good. There are a lot of one-off figures, which who knows how many were produced, but this one has a bit more of a story, so I thought I would go into it, and maybe later in another video we can look at all of the one-off figures, because there are a lot, and it's crazy. So, anyway, I think we all know this stick bot. He was pretty uncommon. He was in the Easter pack, and... Yeah, that's kind of it. It was a really desired color, but that was pretty much it. Until we were recently talking to one of the owners of the rare white translucent stick bot, who also happened to have a version 1. See, this version with all, you know, the little glittery stuff that was available in the Easter pack was thought to be the only version of this figure. Not many stick bots, one-off stick bots that, you know, were given to people who worked with Zing and worked uh, part companies partner with Zing and all that stuff, they're not very similar to modern interpretations, or they're flipped colors, or they're based off of it, whatever. But none of them are this similar. These two stick bots are pretty much the exact same, the main difference only being the string color. So yeah, it's very weird how similar these two are, and yeah, that's kind of where the story ends for now, but it is interesting regardless. In reality, anything could really take our number one. So, I'm going to let you decide on these two, because I literally can't. These are what I think are the two rarest stick bots of all time. So, let's start off. Let's start off with this guy. This guy's a Target exclusive, or was. Eventually, he made his way outside of Target, but was eventually discontinued, sadly. This is a really good figure, and one of the most iconic stick bots, so it's a shame they don't make him anymore. But he wasn't the only Target exclusive planned. Another Target exclusive was this Sparkle one, which is very hard to tell what it is because, you know, it's a pretty uh, low-quality photo, but it seems like that it was planned to be a Target exclusive but was cancelled at the last minute. This is the only photo known in existence of this stick bot, but let's hope that, like the white translucent, I'm wrong, and a week later we find the entire history of this figure. Another potentially rare stickbot is this lime green stickbot. This was a 
prototype, maybe. It's really hard to tell. This hist There's pretty much no information at all on this figure. These are the, once again, only two images of it. And, yeah, I really like this color. I kind of, when a neon color is done right, it looks really good. This color is done right, and it looks amazing. The second photo of it is in its packaging, which is an extremely rare packaging and may have only ever come with this figure. Once again, this guy was never released. So, yeah, but re interesting regardless. So, I really don't know what's the rare one. I'm leaning towards the target, but every time I look at this figure, I start to think it's that one. But who knows, maybe it's the ruby, which is in a similar situation to the lime green. But I don't know. It's up to you. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching. But before I say that, I want to say thank you once again to Dark Side of YouTube and Choa for a lot of this information. I could have not done it without them. The slideshow, which is basically the Stickbot Archive, or the Stickbot Bible as you may put it, is amazing and I am very grateful to help with this. This is, uh, for those who don't know, basically trying to archive every single Stickbot ever made. and. I'd say doing a pretty good job. Um, but yeah, make sure to check it out. Links will be in the description and pinned comment. With that said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.